Let's take a look at how we can fix a common labeling problem. When we have large names, so Massachusetts or New Hampshire, and we have small areas like small states in the US Northeast. What we can do is make sure we've got the label toolbar turned on. And if it's not on, go to view toolbars and then label toolbar. And then if you click the ABC button with an arrow, that will help you move a label diagram or call out. So I'll click that and then I'm going to click on Vermont. And if you get a pop up like this, click OK. I'll click on Vermont and I'll move it. Now I'll do the same to New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Connecticut, New Jersey, Delaware, Maryland, and let me just move Delaware a bit more and DC and probably Massachusetts up here, Rhode Island. So you can just click and move them around. And I'll do the same with West, West Virginia, South Carolina. But you see how it works, you click and move a label. Now we wanna make sure we have callouts, so lines from the further away ones. To do that, I'll double click the US states layer and I'll go to labels. And you can see I've labeled it with aerial bold, size nine. I've given it a buffer of one. I've also given it a shadow. In callouts, we can change this by ticking the box and clicking on curved lines. If you're using an older version of QGIS, you may not see this, so just make sure you're using a recent version. If I click apply, we can see the callouts now. And if I click okay, then what we can do is, this is where you'll just have to spend some time manually moving things around a bit until you get the position in a more satisfactory location. So DC might go down here, Maryland might come in a bit, Delaware might come in a bit too. So after you do that, it's just a case of experimenting and getting the label position as you want to. The other thing you might want to do is just double click on the layer itself so you can go back to labels. And the line style by default will be black and probably 0 0.3 thickness. So let me pull that in and I'll change it to 0.1 and I'll make it 50% opacity and click OK and apply. So that's a bit thin. So I can make it 0.15 and say 80% opacity. There we go. That's a bit better. So just experiment with this, but that's how you get the callouts on, combination between moving labels and turning on the callouts. And you'll see there's many different styles of callouts you can use.